Hello everyone. If you're watching the replay, please bear with me. We are going to be doing the water signs in this live. I will be posting the replay on my YouTube channel. So you will hear me repeat myself a little bit on some things, but that's okay. Figure it out. Okay. So this video is going to be for the water signs, okay? I've decided to do the readings by element. So something Spirit asked me to do. Um, just to not break the flow in between every reading. Uh, so I will be doing the readings by element from now on. Meaning air, water, fire, earth, okay? Um, in one video. And I will be giving you the... Uh, timestamps in the description of the videos when I do them okay just so that it, everyone knows what is going on so in this video we're gonna do the water signs as always make sure that you are paying attention to sorry I can't speak and write at the same time apparently um, Make sure that you are using your discernment, okay? Not everything in a general reading is going to apply to you, but if you feel that you're going through a certain situation, you'll know what part of the reading ap applies to you. Take what resonates, okay? So this could be for uh, sun, moon, or rising signs, okay? So to get a full picture of your month, I suggest watching all of those signs, the, full, uh, the um, sun, moon, and rising just to see what spirit has to say on different aspects of your life, okay? You can find out your, your sun, moon, and rising in your natal chart, which you can get for free online. There's a lot of websites that do natal charts so you can see your uh, astrological breakdown, okay? Alrighty. So, I decided for the water sign, because we are doing water, I am using my very... Uh, emotionally connected signs here I mean cards so I will be doing the reading primarily with the mermaid tarot by Lisa Robertson and the muse tarot by Chris Ann okay so if any of you want to know what they are that's what they are okay all right and I will be posting the replay on my youtube channel um youtube.com slash priestess may the only place to book a consultation or a reading with me is highpriestessmay.net okay so and if anyone dms you on ig or tiktok or adds you on ig or tiktok with my name it's most likely not me because i do not dm people i will never ask you um for money or offer you readings in the dms so please just um block and report those accounts Thank you. Alrighty. The Gemini reading has already been done and has been posted. Air, all the air signs have already been done and have been posted. Okay. For this month. So. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. So let's go ahead and ask Spirit to join us. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say. So we're gonna go ahead and start with cancer. Cancer signs. Spirit, what message do you have for the cancer signs? This month in July 2022. What do they need to know at this time? What's most important for them to know at this time? For cancers. What advice do you have? Okay. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh, Cancers. Okay. I don't read reversals. I always turn the cards around because, like I said, I feel like there is enough negative cards in the tarot that we don't necessarily need to read reversals. Um, and if it is meant to be reversed, Spirit will tell me. They will let me know. Emperor. I like this whole deck is in reverse anyway. 
Okay, so, so far we have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Temperance, and the Emperor. So, Cancer, I feel a lot of changes happening in your life. Um, a lot of little changes. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. Five of Cups, a lot of fives. Okay. And the judgment. Okay, so the judgment card has come out has come out almost for every single sign so far. So this makes me feel like and the king of king of wands is at the bottom of the deck. This makes me feel like there's going to be a collective awakening happening this month that everyone is going to have to like kind of pop out of their bubble so interesting because this card um the judgment card in this one usually the judgment card has like people coming out of coffins and being called um up to heaven or uh being awakened by the by the horn the trumpet of archangel gabriel um notice how this little pod right here this person is coming out of a pod. It kind of gives me like Matrix vibes. <laughs> like if anyone's watched the Matrix where Neo is unplugged and then he comes out of this like weird, like slimy pod, um, which represents the fact that he's been living in a simulation this whole time and the real world is like outside of this pod. Ooh, okay, I feel like cancer um you guys are gonna be feeling this very strongly this month um you've been you you've been feeling it you have been terrified a lot of you have been terrified of being homeless or not having enough financial prosperity and not financial not enough financial abundance some of you have been having a lot of fights with people that you care about or feeling like you have to be very defensive or constantly on a high alert um but i feel that all of that fear that you've been feeling you've been feeling this fear um because you've been having this sense of premonition like oh my god something is coming i just don't know what it is and your mind automatically went to this must be bad something whatever is coming must be bad because it's giving me this crazy um feeling of like what is coming oh my god what is coming um and what i actually feel like is actually coming for you is actually positive and you've been dreading it because you don't you're not you're not used to the feeling of whatever it is that is coming for you for some of you it's a it's a it's a partner it's a it's a it's a, a wife figure or a, or a husband figure or a, a life partner someone who you've been waiting for for a very long time and you've been kind of like tired of waiting um and you've been feeling very alone financially and romantically and emotionally and mentally but and physically but some of you are finally having that wish fulfillment and you never thought it was going to happen <laughs> and you had been kind of focusing too much on the wrong relationships and you've been focusing too much on the wrong career or the wrong uh, energetic financial investment. So you've been kind of feeling like, what am I doing wrong? Why am I always defending myself? Some of you may be dealing with feeling like people don't really like you and are always, you always have to be on the defense. But Spirit is saying that that's changing this month. And this epiphany is going to happen for you that is going to be so important. It's almost like you're going to be, um, I'm seeing like someone blowing a horn and waking you up. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting very, a lot of like Agwe vibes, like the king of the sea. 
vibes. What am I saying here? So what am I saying? What I'm saying is all the dread that you've been feeling, Cancers, it's actually you're afraid because usually when you get that sense of like something's coming, it's negative, but it's actually positive this time. It's actually positive. It's actually a positive thing that you've been living in a simulation because then you realize if I've been living in a simulation, then that means I can manifest whatever I want. I can create, I can control the simulation. I can make the simulation do what I want it to do. And you never realized that before. Spirit's been trying to give you something um, and you have been turning away from it because it doesn't look exactly the way you want it to look. Okay. And that's the reason why you've been so covered by fear is because you have been given all these gifts, uh, all this ability that Spirit wants you to use, but you haven't really figured out how you want to use them you have you've been resisting using them using your psychic abilities using your material abilities um you've been resisting using them and because you've been resisting using them you have put yourself in this place where you feel afraid for what's coming but in reality it's a blessing okay you're afraid but what's coming is a blessing okay um you're here like full of fear but you have this this mystical being giving you these coins and you have these mystical faces coming out of nowhere right so you're very afraid you're very like disappointed but there is a lot that is there for you it just may not look exactly the way that you want it to but you're so set on it being the way you want it to look that you don't realize that maybe what spirit is bringing into your life is better than what you could have imagined. It's better than what you could have thought for yourself. Page of materials. Okay. Um, I feel like with this fiery energy here, with this fight energy, um, cancer, it's time to stop fighting and start to get yourself more grounded. Maybe working um, more closely with plants that are protective um, especially against the evil eye and also plants that are high vibrational plants that will bring you up to a higher vibration okay maybe eating more fruits and vegetables if you're not already doing so temperance card so cancer to bring balance it's so interesting that these same cards keep coming up for multiple different readings the temperance card right now it's not about adding fuel to the fire right now it's about tempering the energies that we are dealing with right now right so if it's not constructive is it really useful if 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 someone is talking about something and it's not really constructive it's just about i'm gonna say it B-I-T-C-H-ing about the situation instead of actually just giving some sort of constructive criticism, giving some sort of constructive um, advice, then really, why are you giving them your energy? Why give attention to anything that is not really trying to be constructive and it's just trying to be destructive? It's just trying to tear things down. It's just trying to spread fear, okay? Because I feel like some of you have been swept away by some of the fear that has been getting promoted on social media and in the world in general and not realizing that you are divinely connected and you know through your divine connection that that which you give energy to manifests, that which you give value to, that which you keep talking about and keep talking about and keep giving emotional connection to manifest into the world. So instead of focusing on the negative and speaking about all this negative stuff and your fears and, and, and listening to people who are constantly talking about their fears, focus on the people who are talking about or focus yourself on throwing the energy out there that you actually want to receive in return. Okay, this is where the love and light people are actually necessary because when we are in a fear vibration, as P 
people who are psychic, because this is this cancer is you're very psychic. As people who are very psychic naturally, when you are in a low vibration, when you are in a negative vibration, all you will see is the future timeline for that negative feeling. Okay, because the all time is energy. So you could either see the future for the positive aspect of what's going to happen or you could see the future of the negative aspect of what's of what could happen and you get to choose we as a collective also get to choose and you yourself as well cancer get to choose what of that becomes your reality so I keep hearing cancer you you because you are such an intuitive um psychic sign nurturing sign um your energy is needed to hold the light and to spread the light your energy is needed for manifesting the right um because you know what the right world would be like um, so your energy is needed to manifest the right world, not just for the collective, but for yourself. Because for you, Cancer, what is happening to the collective um, may not physically affect you, but it affects you emotionally. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of Wheel of Fortunes, a lot of wheels. So ending of cycles, starting of new cycles for you. Um let me go ahead and ask Spirit to clarify this one for me. Some of you may be ending a relationship or thinking about ending a relationship with an Aries energy. Some of you have been manifesting having a child and you are going to be receiving that manifestation. Spirit is saying some of you really need to speak up about how you feel and how things could change. Um, having um, conversations with maybe your family members or your friends on things that could change, that could be constructive towards the relationship that you're having with these people. Six of emotion. The Wheel of Fortune what makes me feel that you are going to, and it's being clarified here by the Six of Cups or Six of Emotions. So I'm feeling like things will change for you more when you pay attention, a little bit closer attention to your inner child and what your inner child wants and what your inner child has been um, wanting. But also pay attention to your shadow self and your higher self. So there has to come a balance between the maybe the childish views, the higher self views, and the shadow self views, and the ego view of situations. There has to be, because there is four people living inside of you. <laughs> your higher self, your shadow self, your inner child, and your ego. So you have these four people living inside of you. And Spirit is saying like, your fortunes will change much more if you start looking at things in a little bit more balanced um, perspective. Like, okay, is it really okay for me to let my inner child run this situation? Is it really okay for my shadow self to run this situation? Is it okay for my ego self to run the situation? Or is it better for my higher self to run this situation? So you need to, with every situation that you're encountering this month, Cancer, you need to be careful what, how quickly you react to something how quickly you say something how quickly you assume something um assess okay is this conversation is this thought is this emotion coming from my shadow self from my inner child from my ego or from my higher self okay to save you some trouble <laughs> to save you some headache i highly suggest making sure that you are um, asking yourself that question like am I being childish in this in the way that I'm behaving am I being childish in the way this person's be is this person being childish in the way they're behaving towards me is there an even exchange of energy is this relationship in my highest good um, 
I don't f feel like it's really much about money for you. I feel like money is going to work itself out for you, Cancer. Um, as long as you're being honest with yourself and you are following that which you actually like to do and what you, um, and maybe even have a little bit more, have, have a little bit of discipline. Um, I'm hearing too, it's like need, doing what needs to be done to achieve the goals that you have, Cancer. So that's what this whole month is all about. Be careful, again, with focusing too much on the negative. Right now, too, I feel like you do need to have to work a little bit more on your unconditional love for other people. Um, not saying that you don't unconditionally love, but be tapping more into the empathy of that you naturally carry where we kind of ask ourselves like why what is hurting what is hurting within that person that is giving them the idea that it's okay to act the way they're acting <clears throat> again like i said before for many of you cancers you are going to have a water sign that's going to be coming in to your life maybe like a scorpio that is going to be of soulmate energy some for some of you it's a it's a fire sign uh so aries leo or sagittarius that's going to be coming in for you this month and they're gonna their energy is going to start penetrating into your life um some of you are leaving a fire sign for a water sign All right, the wheel. A lot of a lot of endings of cycles, beginnings of new cycles. A lot of change and shifting is what's really happening for you this month, um, Cancer. So you are gonna have you're being challenged to kind of take those changes with grace and take a step back before you react, please, so you don't regret it later. <laughs> Don't make emotional decisions this month so you don't regret it later. Give yourself the time to think things through. Um, but remember, you are a magician. You have the power to control your own simulation here, to control the simulation we live in, uh, at least with within your own circle, okay? So it's important for you to not feel disempowered and to take up that power that you do have, okay? Um, a lot of you are empaths and you have to realize that you have the ability to manipulate the emotional energy around you, okay? And maybe it's time to use that empath empathic power and use your magic to manipulate um the negative energy into positive energy so if you have people who maybe are doing evil things maybe use the energy of love to transmute whatever they're doing into positive into light into um more empathy or make them feel the way you know <laughs> i was about to say something that probably is gonna get me in trouble um have them kind of do a return to sender, okay? Sometimes the best way to get someone to understand your perspective is to force them um, to feel their own energy just return back to them. Sometimes the, the you know, Cutting them off is not enough. Um, cutting them off or telling them off is not enough. Sometimes you got to just return to sender. Or wish people the day they deserve. The biggest curse you could possibly give someone or blessing is I hope you have the day you deserve. Why? Because... 
then the karma of whatever it is that they have been doing, whether good or bad, comes back to them. And then that way, they have to kind of deal with the own consequences of their actions. Okay? So, Cancer, just think about what you're going to say this month. Make sure it's coming from the right person inside of you. <laughs> um, whether it's the, I'm not saying shut, don't shut up your shadow self or your inner child um, or your ego. If they need to come out, they need to come out. Um, but make sure that you are also speaking to your higher self and figuring out if this is the right time or place to let it come out, okay? Um, I see a lot of you possibly wanting to quit your job because you're tired of dealing with certain people at work. And Spirit is saying, that was, you know, coming up with the five of coins. Spirit is saying, make sure that you're thinking through. Doesn't mean don't do it. Just make sure you're thinking through and you're thinking ahead of, okay, if you're going to quit your job, what are you going to do next? How are you going to be more authentic to yourself? Um, how are you going to be authentically expressing yourself and be able to maybe um, create something that will help provide for you, okay? Especially if you feel like punching your boss. That's what I heard just now. It's like punching your boss is not a good idea. So <laughs> let's try to think of more rational rather than emotional ways of dealing with certain situations and also spiritual ways of dealing with certain situations rather than just jumping right ahead, right away to maybe um, emotionally dealing with something. All righty, Cancer. So that's your, that's your message. I hope that made some sense. Alrighty, Scorpios, it is your turn. Let's see here. Alrighty, Scorpios, it is your turn. Give me one second. Alrighty, so. Okay, well, I was recording that for YouTube and I decided to not record, y'all, so. There we go. See? Told you. Told y'all. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go ahead and do Scorpios. Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpio today that they need to know for July 2022? forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you know when I post again. Right. My spirit, what message do you have? Yeah, Mama Spirit is taking their time to talk. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like they don't want me using this, this deck for this one. They want me using the Santa Muerte deck. So that's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna switch for Scorpio. Their spirit is asking me to switch. So, <clears throat> and yes, please give a like so that way other people can find the reading. So we're gonna use in the Santa Muerte, Santa Muerte deck because spirit made me change. And the we're gonna clarify with the mermaid deck. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for July 2022? What do they need to know at this time? Scorpio, I'm feeling a weird energy from you. I don't know what it is yet. Let's see what Spirit has to say. I can't really put my finger on it. It is not common. Okay, the Eight of Wands. 
Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles. So this can be for your um, Sun, Moon, or Rising. If you are a Sun, Moon, or Rising Scorpio, or a Sun, Moon, or Rising Cancer, or Sun, Moon, or Rising um, Pisces, okay? So, Scorpio. <sighs> These cards are extra. Okay, so the first thing I heard was a lot of you want to just, like, run away and go into the forest. <laughs> <laughs> and not talk to anybody ever again. <laughs> Some of you are like, I'm just going to take my bag and I'm going to take my heart and I'm going to go just hide in the forest because I'm sick of these people. I am so sick. <laughs> I'm so sick of people's shit. Um, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> Alrighty. So Spirit wants you to know that you're going to be okay. Okay, um, I feel like you may be dealing with currently a king of pentacles. A lot of people dealing with earth signs today. What is up with that? I feel like some of you might have started a fight because you literally wanted to start a fight with this person. Um, because you feel like they're not really as invested in the relationship as you are. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to start a fight because. Um, so this could be an internal battle, but it feels like there is somebody setting fire to some, something here intentionally. Like maybe you started a fight intentionally to push, to put, prove a point, or maybe you don't want to be with this person anymore. So you're trying to give this person a reason to break up with you. Be like, oh man, this, this person is crazy. Um, you like, Oh, you think I'm crazy? Okay. You think I'm psycho? I'm going to show you psycho. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, I feel like you haven't been really receiving this a balanced exchange of energy. Um, six of pentacles here. I feel that you've been getting taken advantage of. That's what it feels like. You've been putting more into the relationship than somebody else. And, um, or you've been putting a lot more into maybe work than other people around you. And you're like, you know what? This person better start picking it up or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna have some words to say about this person. Um, Spirit is saying you need a vacation. You need to get away because your inner scorpion is coming out and there's only two people that scorpion, there's only two places that that stinger can go. It can go either outwards, okay? Um, yes, this applies to all water uh, placements. Um, if it resonates with you. So this stinger, the stinger of the Scorpio can either go outward or it can go inward. Usually Scorpios hurt themselves before they hurt other people, but we're nice and we're nice and we're nice and we're nice until we become serial killers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're nice until we're not nice anymore. And then when we're not nice, people are like, why are you so mean? I'm like, because we were nice. We were nice here and we were nice here and we were nice here and we were nice. We were nice like 10,000 times. And until we lost our, you didn't listen, okay? So I, completely understandable why you want to kind of run away <laughs> and hide or get away from people. Spirit is saying you do need to get, a, get away. You need a breather. You need some time for rest. You need some time for isolation. And um, to get yourself, the hermit card is coming up here. So you do need some time for reju rejuvenation, regeneration. You need some time alone. You need some maybe some forest bathing, okay? Okay to overcome some of those obstacles, you need a vacation. And Spirit is like, you know what? The money will come. You don't need to worry so much about, oh, well, I can't take a vacation right now because I don't have money for that, blah, blah, blah. Understand? But you have the power to manifest what you need, okay? So Spirit is saying like, before you set your whole, before you set everybody on fire or you sting them all, take a vacation. Before you destroy any relationships, take a vacation. Take a mental break. Take an emotional break. I do see that if you did break up with someone um, because just 
you weren't feeling the passion so you maybe instigated uh, an argument um or maybe that person instigated an argument i feel like that person is going to come back to you you are going to reunite again uh, three of cups at the bottom of the deck here um <laughs> oh my god okay so i just found this if it was an air sign they're gonna eat their words okay if you had a fight with an air sign notice like i was like i heard eat their words and then this card fell out okay they're gonna eat their words um you're gonna be like i'm sorry i was having a bad day i maybe didn't you know you're gonna kind of like offer your offer your heart um, or this person is going to realize that like you've been offering your heart and now you have like barbed wire around your heart because they've been playing games with you. Um, but they're going to have to eat their words. Okay. First thing I heard. There is a new love and interest coming for a lot of you. Okay. Especially during Leo season. Um, possibly if you do take some time for self-love and filling your own cup and you go on this vacation, you might find somebody, you might actually find someone, um, during your vacation. Ah, I just heard some of you Scorpios may end up dating somebody foreign, like from another country and like actually meeting them and being in a relationship with them from another country wherever well, other, whatever other country it is that you take your vacation to it's possible i just heard that um and this person from this other country doesn't necessarily need to be like below your means if you know what i mean like this person seems like someone who is very financially prosperous or who has very good luck that I see coming into your life. Go ahead and clarify. Let me see. Oh, okay. I understand what it was. Is that you were you were giving this person your heart, and they were taking it for granted, and now they're gonna have to eat their words. They're gonna have to apologize. Okay. So yeah. So you do need some R and R. So the eight of the eight of wands, which is my sign symbol of communication or travel. Um, has come up here with the rest, the four of swords, which is all about rest and R and R. So you do need some rest and relaxation. You need to pull yourself a little Sleeping Beauty, Snow White moment without all the craziness. Um, <laughs> yes. Maybe you need to ice out some of those people that are actually getting on your nerves. Um, you have, you will overcome the obstacles in your relationships. If you've been having a lot of relationship issues, um, Scorpio, you will overcome those obstacles. Spirit is also saying this is forcing you to make up your mind. Okay. In the terms of work, King of Pentacles coming up here. Um, that is somebody who become, who could be coming new into your life. So this could be a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo who is coming into your life. Uh, but Spirit is also saying there. this is someone who is going to want to give you gifts. Someone who is going to want to shower you with gifts and attention. Um, and don't take anything less than what you deserve. Right? So that doesn't mean be picky with what gifts you get. But you should have somebody who wants to give you gifts. Who wants to give you nice things. There are going to be people who are going to want to give you nice things. Um... Scorpio, I'm sensing that when you give yourself some more of this R&R, um, &R, some more, be a little bit more fair to yourself. Um, be as loyal to yourself as you are to other people. You're going to have people, you're going to start attracting people that are going to want to just give you stuff. They're going to want to just gift you things, either money or gifts or just attention. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, also, Spirit is saying... This person might be a little bit more conventional, so you may need someone who's a little bit more grounding, and that's why they're bringing in this earth sign. But someone who actually gives you attentions. Maybe this person's love language is gifting. Hmm. I just heard love doesn't have to be pain. Love can be peace and grounding. I just heard some of you are 
coming from a are approaching relationships from a tra trauma filled place or from like a toxic um history like you're, you're used to maybe love being painful love being complicated but it doesn't have to be is what spirit is saying um it doesn't have to be uh, uh it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be painful you just have to decide that it doesn't have to be that way and that's when you can start welcoming in energies that are more grounding that are more peaceful and that bring you what you deserve okay Let people pull their weight, whether at work or whether in relationships. Let people pull their weight. Um, Scorpio, you have a tendency to be like, you know what? I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Whatever. I'll just do it. Um, but Spirit is saying, like, let people carry their weight in the relationship. Let people carry their weight in at work. Let people carry their weight. Um, let them... Take a load off, off of yourself. In love, I see working with the elementals or the fairy energies might be very beneficial for you right now, Scorpio. It will be very fulfilling, um, especially if you are part of the LGBT community or you just want to go outside and, and spend some time in the sunlight. Okay, working with the elementals, um, eating the rainbow so eating lots of fruits and vegetables that are higher vibrational for you um because scorpios you are naturally very very intuitive but you can be very depressing sometimes because you are the masters of the subconscious mind of the occult so sometimes you can you can be very very deep Scorpios, you are the deepest and deepest and deepest and deepest and deepest of depths. I feel like, you know the Black Lake from Harry Potter? <laughs> I feel like we Scorpios, like you don't, you should, you see the surface, but the Black Lake is very deep. Very, very, very deep, okay? So work with some fairy energies that are more uplifting not all fairies are nice just an fyi um <laughs> but the reason why you, you are the way you are and you are sometimes so patient and so empathic and so patient with people until they really piss you off is because you are so deep you feel deeply and your depth goes to like to a dark place. Okay, so Scorpio, when I think of Scorpios, I think of like Persephone, I think of Santa Muerte, I think of like Hecate, I think of like Hela, I think of those energies where it's like you're covered in flowers, but deep down you're in a you're in the underworld. Um and it's important for you to get sunlight to balance that energy because you're extremely, extremely powerful magically um if you tap into this energy but it can be very heavy usually scorpios are shadow workers in the meaning that um they work to help heal people's shadow selves okay like or hypnotists or therapists um and that can be very heavy energy for you because you are so um <laughs> halloween michael myers music <laughs> um because you are so deep okay so yeah very deep black lake that has beautiful creatures inside of it um oh like the like the mermaids right they can be very beautiful very enchanting very seductive but very deadly so don't mess with the scorpios out there <laughs> And as I say that, look at this mermaid. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> um, so spirit is saying, 
the amount of energy that you are putting into your work, into your relationships, if you were to put it into your own thing or into yourself, you will be very financially prosperous, very financially independent, um, but also very prosperous when it comes to your relationships being abundant and being um, fulfilling, is what I should say, okay? Let's see here. Don't start any fires just for the sake of it, okay? Because you might end up hurting some people you don't want to hurt. You might end up hurting yourself. Um, and I don't mean literal fires. I mean literal fires, too. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> but don't be careful with starting um, emotional fires as well because or like arguments because you might end up hurting um, yourself more than you expected to or hurting others more than you expected to because your words are so deep okay when a scorpio stings someone else usually scorpios will sting themselves because when they sting someone else they can sting hard and you know this about yourself and it's cutting um so be careful with not getting yourself okay all right, you need some rest, you need some sunlight, you need some R&R. &R. Um, get some rest, get some R&R, &R, get some introspection. Be like, okay, what is not working anymore? What is not working anymore? Why do I keep going around in circles with this person? Um, is this person worth me getting, giving them another chance? If the, if you're thinking about giving another chance to someone, because I do see a reconciliation here for some of you, if your job is not giving you the fulfillment that you want, assess what will, figure out what will. But first, before you do that, take a vacation, take some time to rest, completely disconnected from other people, from and just connect with nature. Why? Why do I say this? I say this because remember, I don't know if you've ever heard the saying that says, don't make any decisions when you're mad, when you're happy, when you're too much into a certain emotion. Okay. Um, be careful not to make a decision when you're too deep in a certain emotion because it might you might end up making the wrong decision or maybe the right decision but in the wrong way if you know what i mean by that but what i mean by that is maybe hurting people that you didn't mean to hurt just because you were you were in your fields okay so before you make a decision in your fields take a vacation take some time to rest introspect receive that that um that divine guidance that psychic guidance okay and then make the decision Okay, I feel like Scorpios for you, um, you do need to get involved. Some of you, I just heard some of you need to get involved in like animal rescue will be very beneficial. Um, and may, maybe also into death work like morticians or um, maybe tapping into your mediumship abilities, hypnosis, um, psychology, um death doula just that's what i'm hearing from spirit so look into that as well okay because some of you are meant to be messengers of change or messengers of death what am i doing did i mix those <laughs> living by the cemetery <laughs> don't don't hurt anybody <laughs> When I was studying forensics, someone said they were scared of me because I was studying forensics. And I was like, why? <laughs> Alrighty. So. All right. So that is it for Scorpio. I hope that that helped you in some way. If you would like to book a reading with me, you can do so on at highpriestesmate.net. I will put the link in the description. And if you are watching this on, on Instagram, you can find that in my bio, All right? <laughs> mm -mm. 
Mm, all right, so I'm asking to switch again. All right, Pisces. Let's see. Pisces, what are you feeling like? Let's see here. Spirit, what should I do Pisces really with? Mm, no. Um, Pisces, Pisces. Feeling like I need to pull, pull a different deck for Pisces. Time for the best. <laughs> oh, Pisces, you're so subtle. Okay, I'll use this deck, the romance deck. Okay, we'll do that. So we are going to use the, what is this? The Dark Mansion Tarot with the Mermaid Oracle, with the Mermaid Tarot. I'm going to pull from here and clarify. All right. So this, if you are a Pisces um, sun, moon, or rising, this could apply to you. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Um, all right. All right, Pisces, I don't want to rush your reading, so give me a second, okay? I need to go check on my cat. All right, I'm back, Pisces. <laughs> I want to go check on my kitty cat. All right. All right, I'll repost the replay for this, and then I'm going to post a, re post a replay on YouTube as well later today. Okay, let's go ahead and see where we are with Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces for July 2022? Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Just throwing stuff at me. Um, what do you need them to know? What advice do you have for them? And what can they look forward to this month? getting the four of cups today look i'm getting it from different decks the four of cups every time i'm pulling cards okay so we have the queen of swords all right the magician hmm. the four of wands okay the two of wands Interesting. The Page of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. Hmm. The Hermit and the Judgment card. Okay, what is with this Judgment card? Like every single one of these signs has gotten the Judgment card. Are we going to have like a revelations moment? <laughs> I 
Okay, the Four of Cups. <sighs> okay, so from this judgment card, I'm actually getting the message of like, you need to honor your ancestors, Pisces. Um, you need to honor your divine connection. You do rule the house of divine connection, so that doesn't surprise me. You have this clear cognizance, but spirit is telling me that a lot of you um, also have this uh, amazing ability to talk to the dead or feel the dead. And you need to be open to that. Celebrate your ancestors. Um honor your ancestors maybe do some ancestral trauma healing as well possibly some um needing to break generational curses <laughs> um there's no justice card oh the queen of swords okay <laughs> okay uh, Pisces, I feel like some of you need to tap into goddess energy as well. Um, self-love, self-care, connecting with your higher self. I'm hearing Metresidi Frida. I'm hearing Freya. I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing Oba energy. I'm hearing, uh... Hathor energy. I'm hearing Demeter energy. So these goddesses here. Oh, I'm also hearing Athena. So there's a lot of like goddess energy around you. Um, Pisces, whether you're a male or a female, the goddesses are trying to connect with you. The and you've kind of just kind of kept your head down and you've been very focused on the material. Is what I'm hearing like you've been very focused on the material you just kind of been like hard at work or just learning maybe going to school um, focusing very much on the material and spirit is saying it's time to focus a little bit more on the spiritual for you okay focus on the spiritual Four of Wands tells me here this is possibly a new home or it could be a more serious relationship um, building here with either a air sign or a water sign for you. But Pisces, I feel like you need to examine your magical or spiritual abilities at a deeper level. It's like I see you like looking at it with a microscope, right? Um, and the magician, the magician is like trying to figure out, but I feel like you're looking at it with the wrong tool. Like you're looking, like he's looking at it with this looking glass thing here. He's, he's examining this light bulb, but it's like you can't really see what is in that electricity with this tool like i'm hearing like you're looking at it with the wrong tool with the wrong set of glasses um <laughs> it was funny that because this reminds me of a conversation that i had with sam a few weeks ago where i said like every dimension is like a different set of glasses right like if you're if i'm wearing this these glasses i'm seeing things like orange colored right if i were to wear these glasses i'm seeing things more yellow colored if i'm if i were to wear this other glasses like the world would be more blue so spirit is saying pisces you need to shift your perspective, maybe shift the glasses that you are wearing when it comes to your financial, your health, and your relationship situations, okay? Um, specifically, when it comes to a romantic partner, possibly a spouse, um, maybe you don't see this person as necessarily being very romantic, but they, they, they are romantic in their own weird way, okay? <laughs> um, so maybe you need to look at things in a different way, in a different perspective, okay? Um, make sure you're staying grounded, Pisces, or very connected to water. 
and earth because I do see you kind of being up in the air like this trapeze artist just not being sure what you want to do and you're kind of trying to you're being a little bit too airy is what I'm hearing so maybe Pisces like the goddess energies have been calling to you. Maybe some of you have even been called by like these, um, like a light seed type of energy or like um, extraterrestrial type of energy. But spirit is saying like, you need to be a little bit more grounded and tap into the, into the death realm. Okay, into the deeper emotions. Pisces is usually, to me, is like the most mature of the signs. Usually, not all the time. But usually, um, but Spirit is saying you do need to um, release the fear of change. That's what the death realm kind of reminds us of is fear of change. Um, I'm hearing some of you need to introspect as to like what you want from your relationships and what you want to build with your divine partner oh odin okay that's so interesting i had a dream of odin like two days ago so yeah the odin energy um the energy of unin and moonin if anyone knows who that is it's the crows from norse mythology um i think they're crows or ravens i'm not sure um and they are uh odin's ravens or crows um and they're known as thought and memory so i feel like you need to tap more into what memories of the past are holding you back and let those go like maybe you're in yeah ravens thank you cosmic um what memories or thoughts of the past are holding you back and that you need to let go of and what and that you need to cut cords with and what memories or thoughts are helping you move forward okay and embrace that change because i feel like you're afraid of of embracing that change don't get me wrong pisces you guys love change and love new things when you want it but when it's pushing itself on you it's like no no i'm not ready yet to move in that direction leave me be <laughs> um let's go ahead and pull some clarification cards make up your mind and move in that direction is what spirit is saying here but make sure that you are um, grounding yourself. The Eight of Wands in this particular deck is making me feel like you're about to receive some messages from Spirit that are going to start moving things in the right direction for you. Okay. You're going to be receiving some messages from Spirit that are that is going to... Um, it's going to be from your ancestors. And possibly the Barons. The barren energy, Baron de Cementerio. Um, if you honor Odin or Freya or um, any of those beings, it's going to be from that energy that you're going to be receiving that message. Some of you are going to be receiving an, a message from Ogun, Balenjo energy. Um, I just posted a message from him a few days ago on my Instagram. And that's going to be about your health and about needing to release some emotional baggage, which is interesting because that's the message. That's what the message was about from him a few days ago. Wow. Eight of Pentacles twice here. So you need to get to work on your ideas. You need to get to work on your ideas. OK, you need to let justice do its own thing. Um, you need to let karma do karma. Okay, you need to focus less on that. If you have been worried about someone getting theirs or getting their karma or whatever, don't focus on that. Um, let karma do its thing. Let your spirit guides do the, its thing. 
their thing. You need to start working on the blessings that you're meant to receive. I feel like this is... Oh, the lucky green frog. Okay, the lucky frog. Okay, the lucky toad is very interesting here. I read something about the lucky toad the other day. Something about how frogs or toads eat their own skin. And it's a symbol of regeneration because they do that. Okay, so put the right work in place, like legally protect yourself, okay? Make sure you're legally protecting yourself. If you're, that's exact, that's one of the things that Spirit is saying here, is if you have had something stolen from you, or if there has been an injustice on you, make sure that you are legally protecting yourself, make sure that you are setting yourself up legally the right way so that you are protected, and you can start working on your goals. If you are trying to start a business, make sure, I was about to say a business on maybe online, um, make sure you're protecting yourself, protecting what you're building by filling out the proper paperwork and um, maybe copywriting your work. But you, no matter what it is you do, you need to start working. You can't stop working on your craft just because you're worried that someone's going to take it. Protect yourself. In whatever way you can, whether that means copywriting or trademarking, because some of you are also working on a book, I hear. Um, working on possibly books or just um, business ideas or you're starting a business online or in person. Make sure you're protecting yourself legally, okay, so that you are ready to receive, okay? Because I'm hearing the dark winds when the light, when you stop shining your light, Pisces. So if you stop shining your light just because of what other people might do wrong, they win, okay? Um, you have everything that you need. Spiritually, you have the backup. You have the support. No one's going to be able to do anything like you are able to do it, Pisces. So someone might be able to copy your recipe, but they are not you. So they're not ever going to be able to make it the same way. <sighs> Someone asked me for a recipe for my flan, and the recipe for my flan actually belongs to my grandfather. And he was like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> He's like, you can share the recipe with them, but they're not going to be able to make it the same way. Because <laughs> I showed you how to make it. And <laughs> so they could have the recipe, but that doesn't mean it's going to taste the same. It doesn't mean it's going to feel the same. It doesn't mean anything because what is not genuinely yours does not capture the same way okay F um i do see some gifts maybe a large financial um gift coming your way if you're working on on some sort of business idea um i do see some a large financial gift if you are waiting on some nice gestures you have you will be receiving some nice gestures from people Okay, maybe gifts or, um, yeah, gifts, money, possibly. In the terms of if you have been waiting for a, to buy a house or you have been waiting to, for a serious relationship and it hasn't been going your way, Spirit wants you to know that the, the wheel of fortune is spinning in your favor so you will be receiving what you are asking for. Okay. Two of Wands, okay. I'm also hearing, um, Pisces, learn a little bit more about your craft. Um, maybe not necessarily about the craft itself, but learning a little bit more about um, how to better present it or how to better maybe advertise it. And this is not just about the craft either. This is also about, I'm hearing, this is also about your relationships. Like how to like better advertise. <laughs> this could be making better choices when it comes to the people you get into relationships with. Okay. 
So if you, but if you are talking, if you are um, working on or making plans for a business or making plans for um, a, a job, it could just be a job that you want to move up in, learn more about the things that affect it. Okay, maybe advertising or maybe learning to speak to people, maybe learning to negotiate your salary, um, things like that. Cups. Um, so the thing that you've been wanting... I, you, I feel like a lot of you have been feeling kind of cursed in your relationships or trapped. Um, emotionally trapped. Or maybe blocked. And Spirit is telling me it's because you, but you've, you're you overwhelmed. You are overwhelmed. You may want to do some um, hex breakings or open roads on yourself. Um... Maybe some cleansing. This doesn't necessarily mean that somebody else is doing something to you, Pisces. This, is, this could be just the overwhelming energy kind of tying you, making you and getting you to a point where you feel hexed. So you create a cage for yourself. Okay. Um... Be careful that your mindset isn't limiting you. Be careful that you aren't putting yourself in a cage because you think that certain things have to be done a certain way to achieve a certain goal. Because you'll end up cursing yourself doing that. Because remember, what did I say before? What we with, with earth with air signs, that which they think about, they manifest. With water signs, that which you feel, you manifest. So if you feel that something is a certain way, you manifest more of it. If you if it, with air signs, if they think about something enough, they will manifest it. Or if they speak it enough, they will manifest it. Um, but with water signs, all you have to do is feel it and it will manifest. Feel it enough times. And tell your water in your body that it's true and it will manifest. So if you're saying or feeling something and the water in your body is, is programming itself to think a certain way, um, that is what you will manifest more of in your reality, Pisces. So again, so is that like people, people are like, use your emotions, use your gratitude to manifest that more of what you actually do want. Speak out into the universe what you actually do want. So I am happy and grateful now that I am healthy. I am happy and grateful now that my business is successful and that I make this amount of money. I am happy and grateful that um, I have the love of my life. I am happy and grateful that um, every day is beautiful. Whatever it is, you are happy and grateful for it. Because when you start to... Tell yourself that you are very programmable water, um, Pisces. Any water sign is very programmable. So that which you hold within your water cells, you manifest more of. If there's a lot of fear, more things to be afraid of. If there's a lot of love, more, lo more love manifests, right? If there's a lot of resentment, more of that manifests, okay? More heartbreak, blah, 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 whatever. Um... In the sense of the I feel like this is yes, okay. So Pisces. The Emperor and the Eight of Coins, Eight of Pentacles. This makes me feel that if you are working on some sort of if you're going to school for something or you're working on some sort of craft or building some sort of business. Um, there is a very masculine energy around you that can be very helpful. This could be a boss or this could be a mentor or this could be um, 
a business person that could give you advice. Um, this could be someone who could become an investor. Um, this could be a professor. <laughs> okay. It could be Poseidon. <laughs> it could be Agwe. Um, it could be a very powerful, uh, it could be Neptune. It could be a very fa powerful uh, father figure that, um, Njord, that is trying to assist you in this. Okay. So stay, keep your eyes open for this father figure that is trying to assist you. Spirit is also saying making sure that you're keeping your feminine in your balance, uh, the balance between your masculine and your feminine energy. Pisces with you, you are usually very much in your feminine. Um, you need to tap a little bit more into your masculine to get certain things done. And when it comes to your relationships, you need to allow your feminine to come out when it needs to come out. Okay. The hermit card. Let's go ahead and clarify that card. The hermit card. It, okay. Take some time to contemplate you might be surprised it's so interesting that this card reminded me of odin and then the hangman came up which there is a story of odin hanging himself from a tree to find to um get the secret of the runes so maybe some of you need to study the runes um or some of you need to study some sort of divination divinational art that is going to assist you that's one thing i heard but some of you may need to pause for introspection Okay. Pause for introspection. Introspection. For enlightenment. You've been, um, some of you have been focused too much on, remember I said in the beginning, Pisces, some of you have been focused too much on how to get the bag, that you're overthinking it and you're kind of sabotaging it for yourself. Um, well, yeah, that's what it is. You're, you're overthinking it, so you're kind of sabotaging it for yourself. You need to... With you, Pisces, your power is more in the... When you're in that Pisces power, your power is more in the realm of emotion, okay? When you can learn to positively affect people's emotions, you can get a long way ahead in life. When um, you can learn to shift the vibration of a room with your presence you have a lot of power that comes out of that people listen people will listen to you if you raise or shift the vibration of the room um into because people don't i just heard people don't remember so much what you say people remember what you make them feel so use your power of water and use your power of empathy to shift the vibration into a vibration that makes people feel good and you will in turn receive that okay and you can make your own reality happen you can shift your own reality Pisces ruled by Neptune. My brain, is my brain failing me right now? I'm pretty sure it is. It'll be funny. Am I correct? Yes, Neptune. Okay, so I'm not crazy. <laughs> That's so funny that, um, and the ruler is also Jupiter, um, which Jupiter is also associated with, um, I believe, Zeus and Odin. So very interesting here that these energies all came out for you. So the wise, the wise masculine energy. So I think what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing from that. Um, Pisces is that you need to use your wisdom to shift 
your reality into what you want it to be. All right, let's see what this judgment card is all about. <laughs> okay, epiphanies about self-love as well as being your own soulmate. And also epiphanies about what you want in a soulmate and a divine lover. Okay. Your ancestors are also setting up some things for you when it comes to your relationships. So you may find yourself, you may find your life, your relationship very much influenced by your ancestors, Pisces. Um, so make sure that you are keeping a good relationship with your ancestors. It, maybe not the ones that are alive, but the ones that are on the other side. Okay, your elders. Um, having a little bit more fun, maybe playing the music that you, music that your ancestors might have enjoyed. Um, maybe honoring them, playing some more music, getting yourself some movement. Okay, move the energy out. Um, drink more water. Speak. Oh, we used I, Sam and I used to do this for the longest time, and we we stopped for a while, and we noticed the difference. Speak into your water before you drink it. Positive affirmations. Pray over your water. Um, you can infuse water with crystals as well. Like this is this is a separator, so the energy of the crystals goes through the glass and influ infuses the water. So just keep in mind that not all crystals are safe. To, so don't I wouldn't use the ones that are directly touching the water okay um but I'm getting the message of don't forget to infuse your your water that you're drinking with positivity with positive affirmations why because I was just telling my um my VIP group that when I was younger, my elders taught me that when you have a little bit of holy water, if you mix it with more holy water, you can make that larger amount of holy water into holy water as well. There is a ritual that we do for that. This is similar to that. So when you're adding positive vibration water into your into your body, positive high vibration foods, you can shift the vibration of your cells to a more higher vibration. We can turn on and turn off genes in our DNA. That is actually something that they've just been studying and I saw a documentary about it the other day where you can turn on and turn off certain genes. So if your family has gone through some trauma, your those generational curses a lot of the times are because somebody a few generations ago turned on a gene that is toxic and, and destructive um, through maybe the harsh experiences they went through or maybe their own inability to let go of something. Um, so you can turn on and turn off genes by what you eat, by what you consume, by what you allow in your vibration. I'm also hearing for you, um, Pisces, it would be highly suggestible for you to listen to binaural beats that will help you balance and clear your chakra centers, um, that will help you connect more strongly to your higher self, to divine guidance, because Pisces, you are usually, as opposed to being just like psychic or a medium, for you, Pisces, you are usually very divinely connected directly to God energies. That's very common for Pisces to be more attracted to like working with the gods versus working with like maybe their ancestors or their spirit guides or their angels. Although you have those beings with you, but um, Pisces are usually more divinely connected. Whereas Scorpios are more connected to the dead and um, Cancers are more connected to elemental beings, water beings, um, more to the empath empathy. Okay, so Cancers are more empathetic, usually um, Scorpios are more occult, they're more connected to spirits, and usually the Pisceans are more connected to, the, to God, divine connection, to gods and goddesses. So that's why that doesn't surprise me that these goddesses and these gods came up for you when I started doing the reading, because that's very natural for Pisces to have that energy. 
of gods and goddesses. All right, so that's all I have for you, Pisces. You can do it. You are powerful. Whether this is starting a business or whether this is leveling up at your job or getting a new job, you can do this. Um, your relationship that you've been wanting, it's coming, but spirit is kind of making me feel like the relationship you really, really wanted is going to come when you start to build a relationship a little bit more with yourself um, and you set your own routine of what you will need need for yourself and for your own health and also when you start working towards your goals um, and don't let other people stop you from focusing on what you are meant to bring into the world all right pisces all right many blessings um i am hoping to post the other uh two elements fire and earth Today, if I'm not able to do it today, I will be doing it in the next couple of days. So I will be going live and then I will be play I'll post a replay. So I will let y'all know. Many blessings. Many, many, many blessings.